I wanna show you one of my favorite time-saving tips in Ableton Live, particularly if you're working with samples or files that you're dragging into Live quite often. So over in Ableton Live, let's go to Live's browser. The way we can get there is clicking this uh, show hide button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And now if you've never messed with Live's browser, this is a very useful place where under categories, for instance, we can see built-in sounds, uh, drum clips and drum sets, uh, audio and MIDI effects. Uh, we can see Max for Live devices, uh, even plugins that we've installed into uh, Live's browser. But in addition to that, I wanna talk about the places section. So if we scroll our mouse down a little further, you'll see places right here. And under places, we have packs. We can see Live packs that we have installed, uh, packs that are available to us. Uh, that we can get and we can click out to see the rest of the live packs available on ableton.com. We can browse our user library, things that have been saved into the user library, uh, our current project, but there's a really cool feature here that I wanna talk about in this video and that's the ability to add a custom folder to the browser. Now for this example, I've got an ambient pads collection that's uh, just uh, different presets for Ableton Live that I'm using often and instead of going to my desktop or going to a folder on my computer, to try to find those. I wanna add them to my browser so I can get direct access. Here's how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click add folder and I wanna find where those are on my computer. Now conveniently located for me, they're right at the top here. So I'm gonna click ambient pads and hit open. And now what you'll see on the left-hand side of Live's browser here is this ambient pads collection. And what's really great about this is I can click on one of these pads and drop it into my live set. And what's even better than that, let's open a new live set, completely new live set. So we'll say don't save and you'll see I still have access to this over in the browser. So if I close the browser, reopen it, it's there. If I hit tab over to arrangement view, it's there as well too. And I, what I love about this feature, again, whether you're using audio samples, uh, whether you're, you're dragging in other live sets to build a set for live performance, or even using presets like I'm using here, this allows you to get access to those directly from Ableton's interface without having to, to browse around on your computer. So if you like tips like this, if you use Ableton Live on stage, then I would highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I post a new video every single day, so here's what I would also encourage you to do. Enable the bell icon so you get notifications every time a video goes live, and you can look at your phone. If the title sounds like it's something interesting to you, like this video, then you can click through and watch. If not, you can check out the next one at 10 a.m. Central every single day. So thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.